on recording. Okay. Hello all and welcome to Artist Life Your Stream channel. I'm Terhi Koskinen from Finland and guesting tonight and we are going to make this cute little Christmas card. Yes. So I'm turning the camera now and here we go. Okay, another one. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Okay. Hello, Aga. Scrap brooche or something like that. Let me just check this out. Okay. So here's the card and for those who haven't known me for a while, uh, I haven't done cards a lot. I'm really not a card maker, but I thought it would be fun to make a card because I have some nice te techniques I'm going to do with this card. Um, we are starting with the background and it's made with a transfer technique, which I learned from Olga Heldway. Um, I asked her permission <laughs> to to spread the word of transfers because I love transferring things. But we are not starting with that, we are starting with this triangular thing. Um, someone is guard song from... Okay, yeah. So we are uh, starting with this triangular which is kind of a Christmas tree or something. And I'm using chip pots to to make that but as you see closely we have something going on on this background as well and first we are doing that and for that uh, background we need pan pastels pan pastels are my favorite and you don't need to uh, do anything for your paper you can just use your pan pastels this is a simple white cardstock and the uh, other side is textured and the other side is completely uh, smooth is that the right word and i'm using the uh, smooth side because i want it to be smooth and um, not uh, seeing anything there so i'm using pan pastel soft tools uh, these are a little harder than makeup sponge or any other sponge so that's why they are better for pan pastels than than anything else if you like pan pastels i recommend you to um, keep on watching mine and rika kovasin's blogs because we are having something fun happening before Christmas, di, di, di. it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Okay, so I'm adding a little layer of this. Uh, this was Bebter um, Bebter <laughs> named this color. This is a little lighter than uh, regular gray. Um, it's almost silver, and I thought. The silver would match perfectly for this one. So here's a little layer. I'm not using any fixative now, but I'm using Versamark ink because we want to have some something nice here. Um, this stamp is from Creative. Uh, what's the word? Creative embellishments. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the word. Uh, it's a simple, simple text, nothing special, and just damping on top of the pan pastels randomly. I'm not doing any pattern. I just want to have this text here. And as you see, the Versamark ink won't show up before. I'm taking another round with pan pastel. Uh, this probably don't see... Well, you can see it. The 
uh, stampered area is is showing now again with much much more darker darker thing. Sorry, my computer is doing something stupid, showing some advertisement. So yes, this is it. And now, as we are using pan pastels, you always should use some kind of uh, fixative with pan pastels because this color would, will um, spread and uh, stick to your hands if you touch it or something. But I'm so poor, I don't have a good fixative, so I'm using a regular hairspray. Just a tiny layer. It keeps it, it keeps it together, but I can't recommend you to use hair spray because um, it's not really fixative and you have lots of, lots of chemicals there and stuff like that, so it might hurt your artwork later. So, now we are preparing this triangle. And we are doing the same thing with Versamark. Just adding, this is a, uh, I think almost everyone <laughs> have tried embossing and this is just embossing. I'm doing two layers of uh, emboss embossing <laughs> powders. First I'm doing a white layer and then I'm doing some glitter because it's Christmas card and you need to have some glitter there, right? So I'm just adding some powder, taking this off, this one as well, shaking the excess off and Sorry, but I have to use my heat gun and I'm reading the chat at the same time, so keep on hanging there. Okay, I need some kind of tool to get them here because my hand is burning. Okay, okay there. So great. My heat gun is from hardware store so it's really really powerful and and I always burn my thumbs with it. So, another layer of embossing ink. Sometimes it's, it's nice to do ombre effects with embossing inks. Have you ever tried? Okay, who's anonymous? Hi Aida, my dear Aida, how I miss you. We had this um, event last month in Poland, mixed media party, and I'm so in love with Polish people and Poland, and oh, it was such a blast, and I hope to do it again soon, and <sighs> it was so much fun. So, anyway, as you see, this is very, very shiny, and I don't have this layer uh, on that uh, sample card, but it's always nice to do something much nicer for this actual uh, project. So now I'm heating these two. Just a minute. Hmm. Stay there. Question channel. Sorry, I forgot get to uh, say these are chipboards. 
These are also from Creative Empilisments. Uh, these are uh, some basic chip brush. Uh, just about two millimeters thick. Basic chip brush. I have, haven't tried with uh, die cut uh, paper to do this, but why not? It should be okay. So now we have our tri triangle background and we have our triangles. So now I'm gluing this down. Uh, usually I'm gluing with uh, gel medium, but because I want it to be dry quite quickly, I'm using tacky glue and just a small tiny layer there. Here it goes. Now I have this one extra one, but I will use it later. So here it goes. Now it can dry for a while. And we are going to transfers. Yippee! Again, I, I want to say that uh, I have learned this technique of transferring images from Olga Healthway. And I'm very, very grateful for, for her to teach me this because this was so much fun. Uh, I have this old book. This is some kind of uh, dictionary. Uh, I found it from my husband's um, late grandpa. And I of course told it because I love old books. And as you see, this is quite yellow, but I love the text. The text is so... Well, I love the, this text. So this transfer technique is so beautiful uh, to get to the background without the yellow thing. And I'm using 13 Arts Pierre Gesso to make this. Uh, but you can use... <laughs> oh, Olga is saying it's not mine. Yeah. I know, but I want to give you all the honor because you you t taught me this, and I'm very grateful. Uh, anyway, so I'm using clear gesso, but you can use white gesso, or you can use well gel medium. But I prefer this 13 art uh, clear gesso because, as you see, it's really liquid. I, I'm taking a brush to show you. This is really plop, 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 really liquid. Uh, I'm making a thin layer of this gesso. And this card is also from 13 Art Store. I think this was uh, Anita's or something, but really a basic, basic white cardboard and of course you can do this transferring technique to anything like to your art journals or scrapbook pages or oops oh I have this gesso all over me but don't mind okay now I have a, li a little layer thin layer of gesso there and I'm adding the thing I'm going to want there if you are transferring uh, any uh, stamped images or you want your text to be readable <laughs> is that a word even anyway if you want to uh, have some word there you need to remember you get the um, mirror image of that um, okay so now we just need to get this without air there shouldn't be any air between the cardboard and the transferring paper. And before we are ripping it off, we need to make sure it's completely dry. And um, you can use heat gun to make it completely dry, but I prefer to uh, let it dry over the night because, you know, I'm a little neurotic about these things. And I have time. So, da 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 da, da. 
this one I did last night, so we'll hope this will work tonight. So this is just exactly done like the other one. And it's completely dry. You can little rip it and it all sticks there. So I'm ripping the excess off first. All the excess like that. But it's not pretty yet, right? So we need some water. This is water, even though it's my silver mist. <laughs> but it's water now. I'm taking this sample card away. Adding some water to make this paper go, go like this. Can you see? It's magic! Yeah! Okay, now I'm reading the chat while I'm ripping this paper off. If you have some extra skin in your fingers, now you are getting it off right, right away. It's like going to some beauty salon or something, but don't rub too hard. And if you had any air between the layers, now you will see it because it won't. Uh, the image won't stick there if there was any air. So I'm just ripping this off. Okay, Karen is leaving. That's sad, but I completely understand. We all have our duties. So thank you, Karen, for helping me with the voice, and we'll see you next week. Anyway, this is how this happens. Can you see it? It's so nice. It's going away. And because I have my fingers already um, this is the um, ready one. I'm not ripping it all because we have a limited time and, and otherwise we would be here for all night. I'm just a little uh, trying my table because it's completely wet at the moment. Okay, so in this sample we have uh, this um, modeling paste uh, stars on the background, but I'm preferring some more glitter today because we have this star, glitter star, and I want to continue it. So I'm making my own glitter thing. We are not going to need the gesso right now, but we are going to need the, 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 the gel medium. My little friend called gel medium. And we need paint. Uh, this is white and silver, uh, silver glitter paint from Verdin Arts. And I have white iridescent glitter, uh, 0.4 millimeters <laughs> thick, if you want to know the, all the specs. Sorry, I'm searching for some stick to add this paint. Always shake your paints and I'm adding some here, maybe too much. We have some glitter in this paint, but I want to have a lot of glitter because glitter is nice, especially during the Christmas time. It's like you must have glitter if you have Christmas. And now I'm adding some gel medium to make it really sticky and pasty. If you uh, wish to have even more uh, thicker paste, you can add uh, magic powder. This gel medium is also from Dirty Nuts. I think I'm going to add some, some powder. Just a minute. Here we have. Here we have, and we need some kind of tool 
just a little. This will be a totally... Uh, now I lost the word. It's not going to be grey when it's dry. It's going to be clear. Okay. Yeah. I love doing these chemistry things. <laughs> okay. And I'm using a 30 watt stencil. Okay, someone nice was uh, someone. Someone was very nice to adding these links. I hope you will click them and and see the products there. So now I'm just adding this paste through the stencil like this. Okay, this is really liquid. But I don't mind. Should use more of this uh, magic powder. Let's see. Okay, it's almost good. Yeah. As I said, I'm not a card maker, but I'm doing better all the time. <laughs> this is actually quite fun. And um, like last year, I didn't send a single one Christmas card, which is kind of a weird. All my relatives and family was like, why don't you send those beautiful cards? Well, I don't do cards. I do scrapbook layouts and other things. I don't do cards. But maybe I will do some kind of ex exception this year. So now I'm going to try this a little because it's completely wet. And I'm going to use my little heat gun again. So please wait a minute. Okay, my table is <laughs> going to be too hot. Uh, so if you want to have some kind of crackles on your stars, you can add more of uh, this uh, magic powder because if you have a really thick paste with this in it, we, you will have some crackles and it's a really nice effect. So let me see. Goodbye, Karen. I hope you will enjoy your day. So, now we have almost everything here. And um, I hope you get the detail that I didn't draw any circles here. I'm kind of um, going over the, over the edges right now. So, now we are preparing these little uh, gift packages. Uh, under the Christmas tree and I'm using uh, this grey paper from 13 Arts. This is from Fly Away Collection and it's called Imagine. Uh, the other side is a uh, little green and grey but I'm preferring to do grey and silver today and I'm using this square, square bunch to make some gift packages. Maybe one more. And if you do bunches like that, never throw this away because you can cut it out and use on your scrapbook page or cards between the paper layers. So, now we have these. But these are looking boring right now. 
we need to do something about it. And we will take a pen. This is a black marker. And I'm just, okay, this was too thin. Just a minute. Okay, this is, yes, a little better. Okay, <laughs> this is dry. I need more black pens. Who have stole mine? Okay, this will work. So I'm doing this random, oops, random uh, package like of this. It's a little detail in this uh, card, but you know, I like details. I like to do things um, with really. Uh, Oh my god, I'm so tired, I don't know the word. Anyway, I want to do everything good. And uh, from start to the end, like completely good. You get the point right. So it doesn't have to be all even, but something like that. And now we are just adding these to this card. Uh, because I don't like flat cards, I want to use something to get it pop out. Uh, that's why I'm using these thin uh, 3D foams uh, between the layers. And these are quite large. And that's why I'm using just half a wolf for one. And just a minute. I almost was saying that Riikka is going to be here uh, next week, but I'm not sure. It might be Karen or someone else. Uh, Olga is just telling on the chat that uh, magic powder uh, or what magic powder is, and I didn't <laughs> have time to read it, but I will read it later. But if you any uh, if you want to do your own pastes of any inks or or uh, paints, I really recommend you to try this magic powder because it makes nice and smooth paste of anything. So now we have our little gifts, and I'm just adding them some first, and then I'm going to add some thread, surprise, surprise, uh, and then even more packages. Now, um, I want this thread to be between the layers, so that's why I add first something and then more something. You can use these techniques, which I have uh, made today, uh, completely separately in any of project but I just wanted to add them all together to this one card because it's going to be Christmas and it's fun and it's always nice to learn new techniques. Or is she sleeping already? <laughs> okay that must be Ida because Ida knows that I'm always sleeping and it's uh, 9 30 something like that here in Finland and usually at this point I'm totally asleep and like I said before I have been awake for 18 hours right now so I really don't have <laughs> no idea what I'm saying but I try to do this anyway so now I'm going to find this little tree we made before but as you see it's on this paper and we need to cut it out you can use your craft knife to get uh, smooth and even even of it but i don't mind if it little shows this glue isn't even completely dry yet but i don't mind i don't mind at all I'm just so happy to be here again because I love to do crafting. So here we have our little glitter tree. 
Okay. It's not Olga, it's Aida. Okay, I knew it was Aida. Good for you, Aida. You know that I need a lot of sleep because young people need to sleep a lot. So, I'm using again these uh, 3D foams, but of course you can use any uh, like a cardstock um, behind this uh, tree or behind anything to get it uh, more visible. Uh, and right at this point I think I'm going to use some gel medium as well because if I'm sending this uh, card to someone this is going to be in uh, post office and they are not taking good care of people's artwork because they are doing their job so here it goes like that Ta-da! We have it almost ready, but not exactly. Ha ha ha! Ida is laughing for me, but that's not a new thing. Okay, now we need our stars and our figures. Uh, I used two different kind of figures. Not only because I like the way it looks here, but also because if I'm doing a few cards, I will lose all my figures. So I want to use all of these because I have this a lot of here. So let me just open, open it and open that. Now where did I put my gel medium? Okay, it's here. So, uh, I need a tool. I'm adding this gel medium. This works as a glue, just that you don't uh, wonder why I'm adding it. I'm adding a little layer of gel medium here because those stickers won't um, stay on this chipboard other otherwise. Just a little layer. And then we are going to write Mary. Uh, I'm starting with R's because these R's are going to be in the middle. Like this. And I want to have Y from different kind of alphas right here. What's that? That is E. Marry me. Mm, and now we need M. M like my daughter Maya. Okay. Here we have the letters. This gel medium will be uh, clear. I still don't know the word, but it will not be white. And we want to have this little star on the top of this uh, kind of a tree, so that's why I added some some gel medium there. These stars are from Frecklet Fawn. We had some blue, we had have some silver and gold. It's nice. And as you see, it's almost ready. But now we are getting to the important and almost the nicest part of this work because we are using we are using mist we are using white splash ink and we are using black splash ink although i'm not sure if we are going to use this all but let's see how it looks i'm adding this silver first because it will add even more glitter you are probably already uh, your head full of glitter but again it's going to be Christmas and everyone needs glitter this is silver mist pearl mist also from 13 arts this is really nice this is quite light silver so you can add it a lot and 
I just love the way you explain your work. I know I talk a lot, but um, I think it's quite boring if you watch these shows and the artist doesn't speak and I want to explain why I do these things because I want you to learn something and I hope you learn something. So I'm adding some some black spots to create some contrast not much but some and mostly to this uh, bottom area because you know it's like Christmas tree, sky, and gifts. Lots of gifts. Now this wasn't that wise order to add first this black and then white. So I'm not adding this white right now because it, if it's uh, going to hit these black dots here, it will go all gray and ugly and I don't want that to happen. So I might add some some white spots later but really that was it yes susan i so agree with you because <laughs> because if you have glitter you don't need anything else you don't need money you don't need clothes you don't need food you just need glitter okay that starts now it's better so Oh, hi Riikka! Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome and goodbye because we are finishing up this thing. Um, I ho really hope you learned something from transfers which are really quick to make and I hope you uh, got inspired by my mix of uh, different mediums and I hope you got inspired by something and if you do some something with these techniques please send me a link or something you will find me from facebook or or somewhere because 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 i really love to see your work so uh, let me turn the camera and say goodbye for all this is my uh, studio by the way and it's so messy right now, it's just like I am. <laughs> okay, camera just drop off. Is it better? Mm. Okay. Stay still. Great. Uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you'll see me soon. And I will see you, okay? No any wise words at this point of this evening oops but thank you all for watching and i really hope you learned something and again thank you for watching and have a good night or day or evening or afternoon or something and thank you Rika and thank you Karen for having me and it would be a pleasure to do this again and again and again and every monday so i'm doing goodbye so long